So season 23 of Apex is four days away now, and we've still not gotten an official trailer from Apex Legends, maybe a launch trailer, gameplay trailer, battle pass trailer, no trailer or news whatsoever, only teasers on Twitter, despite Epic Games themselves actually leaking images of the new season, which confirmed a lot of rumors and leaks. So now we know pretty much what's coming next season, but we don't have the EA news post or the Apex trailers to give us a little more context. And I think I might know the reason why we've not got on a trailer for the new season yet and it looks like we might be getting the trailer right before season 23 or maybe not even one at all. So after doing a bit of digging I actually found out that a lot of voice actors on video games are currently on strike through their union and this is affecting a lot of video games and it's affecting EA directly. So I'll dive into this even more but to summarize if most of the Apex voice actors are on strike and they hadn't got the trailer made already then there's a good chance it caused setbacks in the production of the trailer and that's why we're not getting as many trailers and the trailer is super super late. And Apex being a live service game definitely has a lot of the future seasons already planned out and a lot of stuff already created but these strikes could have a huge impact on the game because if voice actors stop doing work for a live service game you'll find it hard to bring updates when most of the characters can't speak. Now before we even go into this there should be absolutely no hate being sent towards any of the voice actors because this might not even be the reason that the trailer is delayed and even if it is, well, they're striking for a good reason, so why are video game voice actors even striking? Well, the largest union in entertainment, which most big video game voice actors will be a part of, is called SAG-AFTRA, and they're currently undergoing a strike in dispute over the use of artificial intelligence. So, as I'm sure you may be aware, a lot of voice actors' livelihoods could be in jeopardy with the introduction of AI, as you all know the capabilities of AI, and it's only rapidly expanding, and being able to completely clone the likeness of voice actors would allow companies to just use their voice in their own video games without needing to give the voice actors actual work to do and probably not even pay them. It turns out last year Microsoft revealed plans to use AI to speed up game development and reduce costs and Activision were recently accused of using AI to create purchasable skins in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So there's no doubt that gaming companies are trying to use AI in the future and definitely working on tools that will allow them to save on costs and use AI in their games. Now, of course, the game companies were met with demands from the union requesting security for their voice actors in the future, and if the voice actors' likeness and voices were replicated digitally, then they would have to be fairly compensated for that, and it seems like a deal couldn't be set. Apparently, some video game bosses have hit out at actors for walking out, claiming they were so close to a deal, they insisted they'd already agreed to 24 out of 25 demands put forward by the actors' union. Apparently, there was offers in place for meaningful AI. AI protections, but actors and the union were adamant that the proposed safeguards were just not enough and that is why there's currently an ongoing strike that's affecting many game companies like Activision, Take-Two, EA and Insomniac Games. So this could definitely be a reason why we might see some setbacks in Apex when it comes to updates and trailers like this since of course the voice actors are one of the biggest parts of the game because without them you really don't have any character to the game and that is that. So yeah let me know if you have any thoughts in the comments and do you agree that this might be the reason why the trailers are delayed and as I stressed at the start of the video do not go and send any hate to any of the voice actors for any games for that matter as I think they're striking for a very good reason and I'm sure if you were in their place you wouldn't want your entire livelihood to be in jeopardy just for these game companies to save on costs and basically use you. Now in other news of Apex suffering recently, the dev team recently updated us about them deleting Apex for a small portion of players out there. That's right, in this dev team update that they posted about Linux and anti-cheat, they shared this. Hey legends, we're sharing today that Linux and Steam Deck using Linux will no longer be able to access Apex Legends. Our dev team wanted to provide a bit more context into this and share some of the decision making process that happened along the way. As mentioned in our prior anti-cheat dev blog, Competitive integrity is a top priority for our team and there are many ways in which we are battling cheaters. This is one to add to the list. We remain committed to more regular updates on topics like this and appreciate your continued reports. So anyone who played Apex on Linux or with the Steam Deck using Linux will no longer be able to play the game and while it is a very small percentage of players that will play on Linux, 
it is still players that might not currently have any other way of playing Apex and any time or money they've put into the game, well, that's kind of lost for now. This would be a good time for you to comment. Let me know if any of you guys watching this play Apex on Linux or with the Steam Deck using Linux. I'd like to see how many people are affected by this. And of course, if you're using the Linux operating system, there are, of course, other ways you can go about it. It's not like your account gets deleted. You just have to find a way to use a different operating system. But nonetheless, it really does suck and it is quite an annoying solution for the cheating problem. But let's hear what the anti-cheat team have to actually say about this. So what's happening? In their efforts to combat cheating in Apex, they've identified that the Linux operating system is a path for a variety of impactful exploits and cheats. As a result, they've decided to block Linux from accessing the game. While this impacts a small number of Apex players, they believe the decision will be meaningful in reducing instances of cheating in the game. Linux is used by default on Steam Deck, and there's currently no reliable way for them to differentiate a legitimate Steam Deck from a malicious cheat claiming to be a Steam Deck. So it's all in an effort to stop cheats. Apparently cheats are more prevalent on Linux and they just can't do much about it. So they thought, let's just remove Linux. The openness of the Linux operating system makes it an attractive one for cheaters and cheat developers. They say that Linux cheats are harder to detect and the data shows that they're growing at a rate that requires an outsized level of focus and attention from the team for a relatively small platform. There are also cases in which cheats for the Windows operating system get emulated as if it's on Linux in order to increase the difficulty of detection and prevention. We had to weigh the decision on the number of players who were legitimately playing on Linux or Steam Deck versus the greater health of the population of players for Apex. While the population of Linux users is small, their impact infected a fair amount of players' games this ultimately brought us to our decision today. So sacrificing the legitimate Linux players for the greater good and decreasing the amount of cheaters. Do you think this will have much of an impact on Apex? I think this is definitely a controversial one. I think we'll have to see if it has much of an effect on the game and if it was worth it. Then they say there's next steps, but the next steps aren't really next steps at all. They basically just say that you can still play it on the Steam Deck if you install Windows and that's pretty much it. So while it may be small, a chunk of the Apex players literally literally just stopped having access to the game. So all the people saying Apex Legends is dying, for some players, Apex literally just died. And I think it's an interesting time for Apex right now. I think the whole new season stuff sounds really exciting with all the OG event, and I'm still gonna cover all of that. It's gonna be exciting when the trailer finally does drop, but I thought I'd give you some context on what's going on with Apex right now and share my thoughts on why things might be a little delayed. And of course, the potential that if EA don't adhere to the union's demands and offer the voice actors some security against AI, could even have such an impact on Apex where there'd be no voices for the characters anymore and the game gets cancelled. It kind of feels like that way for season 23 right now as Apex are really holding out on dropping that trailer. I hope I didn't scare you too much with the title, but I think it's interesting taking a dive behind the scenes in game development, especially for a live service game that we spent years playing. But what do you think is causing the season 23 trailer delay? Is it the strikes? Let me know if you agree and I'll see you when the trailer finally drops.